Today we're reading uh, Malachi chapter 1 to chapter 4. The Burden of the Word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi The Lord's Love for Israel I have loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say, Wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord, yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return, and the building the desolate places, thus said the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people say, Whom the Lord had ignition forever. And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, The Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. The priests polluted offerings. A son honored his father, and a servant his master. And if then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Said the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests that despise my name. And ye say, Wherein have we despised thy name? Ye offer polluted bread upon my altar. And ye say, Wherein have we polluted thee? In that we say, The table of the Lord is contemptible. And if ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor will he be blessed with thee or accept thy person said the lord of hosts and now i pray you beseech god that he will be gracious unto us this has been by your means will he regard your persons said the lord of hosts who is there even among you that you shut the doors for not, neither do ye kindle fire on my altar for not. I have no pleasure in you, said the Lord of hosts, neither will I accept an offering at your hand. For from the rising of the sun even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles, and in every place incense shall be offered unto my name and a pure offering for my name shall be great among the heathen, said the Lord of hosts, but ye have profaned it, in that ye say the table of the Lord is polluted, and the fruit thereof, even his meat, is contemptible. Ye said also, Behold, what is weariness is it? And ye have snuffed at it, said the Lord of hosts, and ye brought that which was Torn, and the lame and the sick, thus ye brought an offering. Should I accept this of your hand, said the Lord? But cursed be this deceiver, which had his flock a male and vowed, and sacrificed it unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, said the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. Two, the Lord rebukes the priests. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, said the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yes, I have cursed them already, because ye do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feasts. And one shall take you away with it, 
and ye shall know that I have sent this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be with Levi, said the Lord of hosts. My covenant was with him of life and peace, and I gave them to him for the fear wherewith he feared me, and was afraid before my name. The law of truth was in his mouth, and iniquity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and iniquity, and did not turn many away from iniquity. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law of his mouth at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But ye are departed out of the way, ye have caused many to stumble at the law. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi, said the Lord of hosts. Therefore have I also made you contemplate and base before all the people, according as ye have not kept my ways, but have been partial in the law. Judah profaned the covenant. The covenant. Have we not all one Father, yet had not one God created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother, by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Judah had dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah had profaned the holiness of the Lord which he loved, and had married the daughter of a strange God. The Lord will cut off the man that doeth this, the master and the scholar out of the tabernacles of Jacob, and him that offereth an offering unto the Lord of hosts. And this have ye done again, covering the altar of the Lord with tears and with weeping, and with crying out in so much that he regarded not the offering any more, or receiveth it with good will at your hand. Yet ye say, Wherefore, because the Lord had been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth against whom thou had dealt treacherously, yet is she thy companion and the wife of thy covenant? And did not he make one? Yet had he the residue of the Spirit, and wherefore one, that he might seek a godly seed. Therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. For the Lord the God of Israel said that he hated putting away for one covenant, cover it, violence with his garment, said the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit, that ye deal not treacherously, the messenger of the Lord. Ye have wearied the Lord with your words, yet we say, Wherein have we wearied him? When he, he say, Everyone that doeth evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delighted in them. Or where is the God of judgment? Chapter 3 Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even a messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, said the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeared? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord as in the days of old, and as in former years. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, 
and against the adulterers and against false swearers and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right and fear not me, said the Lord of hosts, robbing God, for I am the Lord, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers ye are gone away from my ordinances, and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. But ye said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now. Hear wit, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast your her fruit before the time in the field, said the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a delights, delightsome land, said the Lord of hosts. Your words have been stout against me, said the Lord. Yet ye say, What have we spoken so much against thee? Ye have said, It was vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept this his ordinance, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? And now we call the proud happy? Yes, they that work wickedness are set up. Yes, they that tempt God are even delivered the book of remembrance. Then they that feared the Lord spoke often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for dumb that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, said the Lord of hosts, and that's they when I make up my jewels and I will spare them. As a man spared his own son that seven, seven him, then ye shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serve him not. Chapter 4 The Great Day of the Lord For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yes, and all that do wickedly shall be, be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And ye shall dread down the wicked, for they shall be ashen under the soles of your feet. In the day that I shall do this, said the Lord of hosts, remember ye the law of Moses my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb, for all Israel with the statues and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And ye shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. O Lord, our Lord, 
how excellent is your name in all the earth, who have set your glory above the heavens. Psalm 8, 1. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20. Prayer. Dear God, there is no distance I could go that would take me from your love. There is nothing I could do that would make you love me any less. You not only promised me your presence in this moment, but you also promised me your presence until the end of time. When nothing else in my world seems to last, your love does. It will forever. Thank you, Father. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. Father, you are good. You sent your Son for us, and you are merciful to us daily, moment by moment, even to the final cost. Remind me today of your sacrifice. Keep it close to my heart. Make me not only thankful for, but a vessel of your grace. Don't let your grace stop me with, stop with me, but show it to others through me. Be with my friends and family who do not believe in you and have hard hearts. Let them know the promise of your good news. Thank you for the depth of your love. You sent your son to die a sinner's death so that I could be redeemed. Thank you that you want to have a relationship with me through Jesus Christ. In his precious name, amen.